testing. One, two, two. Captain's log. Log. What's going on? I've completely lost control. What do you mean you've lost control? You don't just lose control, not right now. I don't know, okay? My my scan can cannot establish a connection. Did we go too far away? That's odd. I can't connect either. Uh guys. I was checking out the engine just now. We're all out of fuel. Out of fuel? But how? We, I just checked. We still had enough for, to get to the next checkpoint. I'm not sure, but we've... But we've... But we're running running on emergency fuel, emergency levels right now. Sorry. Give me coordinates for a safe planet to land... Nearby to land on. On it. Well, Captain... Shouldn't we get into our suits now? Of course. I'll head down to the engine room. Maybe there's some leftover fuel somewhere. Alright. You know, I should probably explain what's going on here. I don't know. I just became a captain of a ship. Ship. Hip. But this is, from what I remember hearing, hearing the, the August Game Gen from Relic Castle. Take the elusive. Wait, the way over What's this one? Take the pink suit, take the green suit, take the orange suit, and then take purple. Alright, blue. Aha! Found it! Power will get, get us to these coordinates. I'm not gonna see that. Go! Okay, 5837.928VH-4-F329.8532. Dash dash Wait, isn't that Sylvanar? Are you sure we can land there? Actually, it does seem to be a habitable planet. This is surprisingly very favorable. Oh, whatever it, it is, Doc. We should probably get into our suits now. By the look of it, it we're going to arrive sooner, sooner and faster than we hoped. Maybe someone should call Luna over? She's still in the engine room, isn't she? I got it. So, yeah, like I said, this is basically the game jam. This is one of the many games that I actually downloaded that were actually part of it. And where you get to actually play, play games that are made around a month. Month. And for a game that was made in a month, it is really good. It looks really good. It plays well, too. But I got like a whole slew of games, and I want to actually make a make like one. Oh my gosh, she has a Tinka Tough. Oh uh, yeah, that that woman has taste, respect. But no joke when I say this, uh, I personally want to make like 40 minute minute long videos just playing the games and deciding whether or not they're actually sh games you should. I would recommend them. But all along, at the first few minutes of this game, it's honestly been really fun, really intriguing. Something isn't right. Something must have happened. Yo. Wait, what the fuel? Why are we out of fuel? I have no idea. There's no sign of a leakage, and there's no way it's drained or stolen. Then how did we run out? My apologies. I should have been more alert. No, no, it's fine. But we have to get in our suits now. Alright, Captain. Let's put you back in your Pokeball. Here's hoping we won't die. But then how did we lose fuel all of a sudden? If there isn't a leakage, could someone have that not put enough fuel? Regardless, we need to head, head on. Alright, prepare for entry.
Seems he passed through deals on there. So now, how's it looking? Since they are somewhat stable, I think you're good to make a landing. Looking for a good landing spot. You can do this, Pavel. Make us proud, kid. I think I see a good spot. Okay, everyone, prepare for landing. Oh, man. We did it, Captain. We survived. Shouldn't you be thanking me? I was the one lighting the shuttle. I will have to say, good job, kid. The shuttle seems to be in one piece. You really are a good pilot. Thank you, Luna. It's nice to see that someone here appreciates my skill. Hmm. We have a bigger problem at hand. We have landed on, on a planet with seemingly no fuel in sight. We'll have to find some kind of fuel source to get off this planet. We should probably start by looking around. See if we can find anything. Come on, Nobet. We need your help. Oh, actually, good choice. Alright, use your supersonic make ways to see if you can find anything. There's no way that's gonna work. I'm going to back into some of to see if Nacha can find anything. You're underestimating the power. Nobet's supersonic ways. I'm sure we'll find something. And I'm out of here. No, oh, we found something interesting. Oh, that actually kind of looks like fuel. We should check it out. Captain, you should go on ahead. I feel like... I feel... Go on ahead. I feel like there's something going on with the engines back here. We'll follow you in a bit. I'll be with you in a bit. I'm going to run some tests on the environment. All right. Oh, hold on. Let me first... Save. And then, let me just go to my options, because I'm not running. And I don't like the fact that I'm not running. There we go. There we go. Oh! Now I see why this game felt so different. So this is an... Oh! I would say regional, but this is literally a planet, planetary difference of Pokemon. Ah, the screen got super tiny for you all. That's funny. It's a good thing I got that one. I did. <laughs> oh, man. It must have been like, wait, why did the screen get so tiny all of a sudden? Oh, would you look at that? Captain has found something interesting. Mm, let's see what it is. Uh... Ew, it's thick and sticky. I see, it seems to be some kind of organic biomass. So what, it's just a bunch of goo. But we could try and see if it's a com it could be usable as a combustible fuel source. Not quite. Think of it as some kind of soup. But, instead of cutting vegetables, it's made of tiny cells. This is a very interesting find. Perhaps we can find a bigger body of this stuff. I don't know, it's kind of gross. If we can find a large enough sample, we could probably transform it into some kind of fuel source. We'll have to keep an eye out, out for a larger and more concentrated body. Guess it's a good idea, but I'm not touching it. I'll head back to the lab and see if I can find a way to convert fuel. 
Meantime, Captain, you should continue exploring the area. Let me know if you find anything else interesting. I can help you analyze it and see if it can give use. Alright. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. I should have Pokemon. Oh! Oh, calcium chlorine? Oh, wow! They all have a chem alchemical. Wow! <gasps> you know, let me not be a nerd, because I know that most of you won't, won't get it. Oh, man, if I had a hatchet. to admit this is a game that was made in a month i checked the game jab it was a part of this this is a game that was made in a month and i'm honestly impressed and if it wasn't even then the fact that this the fact that this took so long to make it is of this high quality I'm not gonna lie like it's really really impressive Sylvine branches, Sylvine stone. I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. I need to build a hatchet. And I think I'm gonna need to go back into the lab if I'm gonna want to be able to do that. But before that, let me go get the last piece of items because they're my items. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll put some frick idol at it. Oh, shoot. This is impressive. Oh. Oh crud, I don't know where the lab is. Alright, so that's the storage room. So let's go to the storage room. So this va so this is so this is an open world 2D 2D sprite Pokemon game. Amen. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is the Doc's lab. Let's see if I can see if he can help me in my search. Yo, Doc. Ah, oh, Captain. If I met Jill's re research. Oh. All right. Uh, well, the stones. Wait, no new recipes were unlocked. All right. Awesome. All right. Now we got a custom hatchet. All right. So now, I believe I go to my crafting system, and then I need to go to, oh no, we don't have enough? Oh no. We don't, we still need one more piece of material in order for it to work. Oh, not gonna lie, kind of wish I could go diagonal, but hey. Eh. 
Oh, ferenic iodide. Oh, that must have been the last material we needed. Neat. Got you twine. That's good news too. And then we'll get two more pieces of salt stones. More pieces of stones. Although ironically enough, enough an entire species of Pokemon living on a different planet would would result in a different entire ecology system. I'm sorry I'm being a nerd right now. But damn. Isn't it kind of weird that people hate Ultra Beasts despite the fact that Ultra Beasts are supposed to kind of look not like Pokemon? That's the whole point of them. But it's like, oh man, why do they have to not look like Pokemon? That's what makes them suck. Look, and when you bring up the fact that you don't like the Ultra Beasts because they don't look like Pokemon... Pokemon, and yet the whole that's the point point they point they cry about how yo but it still doesn't change the fact that they don't look good twitch part of my brain is always like but isn't that the whole point that they're not supposed to look like that plus the ultra beasts have always looked cool to me is that weird i always just found that weird abnormal stuff normal like something that's not traditional within the system so to always be such a cool idea and concept that they're just literal errors within the system and standard of what we normally see see which ironically enough makes them really cool and now we're on an alien planet to where we're mostly going to see a bunch of alien species of pokemon and hey doc i need you to actually uh scan my materials that i got like the phrenic iodide oh cool i can make a bucket oh cool i can make a bucket Alright, hold on. Can I make the bucket? Yes, I can. Okay, so first let me make the hatchet. Then let me make a bucket. Awesome. Now I have a custom hatchet and a bucket. I don't know how... I don't know if they can actually take damage. But if they can, let's hope that it lasts for a good long while. Not gonna lie, this must be the game I'm gonna be playing on my downtime. Time like off screen. It's probably gonna be. F I bet. I bet. I bet for you guys, it's gonna be a lot faster when you're playing it. Ooh, yeah. Now we got. Now we're getting somewhere. And the Pokemon seem to have not attacked me yet. Hmm. Probably because I haven't been shown to be an open hostile threat. Hmm, we need to find a massive body body of a substance which the good thing is I've already made a bucket because I think I know what I have to do oh wow I just lived Strange goo. Hey, wait. Huh, this guy's head is being here. Okay. 
So yeah, I think we took a wrong turn. It's a good thing we had the mini map on standby to actually look at. So now you know where you're actually fucking going. Do, do, do. Da, da. Uh. All right. So now I gotta go move a little more up. I think I see an opening that's outside of a regular clearing. Da, da. Oh, there it is. Wait, it's not showing me different. And there we go. How marvelous. I've never seen anything like it. It seems we found a whole pool of this stuff. We could definitely use it to make fuel. A shuttle. Oh, wow, great job, Captain. Uh, how about with this? I can carry quite a lot of stuff. Stuff back to the shuttle. If you could collect five with that bucket, that'd be great. As we could before. Alright. Now, if you need help. Alright. Alright, hold on. Let me check my bucket. Oh, shoot. My capacity's. I've gone past capacity. Hold on. Let me go get more buckets. <laughs> oh. Wait, I can't craft it? Oh, I have to be on the ship most likely to craft it. And I have to be in this lab where I actually craft more advanced tools. Okay. The funny thing is, is that we have not catch or battled with any Pokemon yet. And yet I'm having so much fun with just the exploration aspect of this game alone. I don't know what that says about me. Try again. Is it weird that I kind of like? No, it's not really weird that I. Uh, is it weird that I like this? No, it's not weird. It's perfectly normal to like this. Like this. I feel like I have something I want to say, but I don't know if I can say it properly. For example. How many of you have played Legends Arceus and how many of you had fun playing it? Because I know I and a lot of other people have, but isn't it weird that there are people who are saying, oh, Legends Arceus is a bad game? Like, Legends Arceus isn't perfect, I'm, I'll acknowledge that, but a game that did really well is a game that did really well. You'd think that'd be the point where everyone's like, yeah, no. Did you bring the five Luminar? I brought 25. <laughs> Great. Let's get to city engine and get off this rock. Wait, that's odd. This wasn't here before. Now, Captain, you might want to see this. Alright, what is it? What in the hell is that thing? Roll? Uh, Captain, do you something? What is that? Hey there, little guy. What's your name? I'm gonna call you. Helios. Since you look like a son, I'll call you Helios. Oh, you'll be called Helios. What is all this noise about? Cool. Hmm, curious. Seems to be some kind of Pokemon, but it's clearly nothing worth them all, you what? It was stuck in the engine. Do you think it could have caused... Oh! Now I see. 
it most likely was eating eating the fuel. That's actually the most thing that makes the most logical sense. Like it was absorbing all of the fuel cells that was in our spacecraft, causing thing us to run out of fuel so fast. But I doubt by looking at it, I can already tell it's comparable to machines. What do you mean by that? It looks like any spacey, po any spacey Pokemon to me. Quite the contrary. Perhaps I should show you. Do you have some Luminar with, Luminar with you? Um, well, I think I put some on the table over there. What the hell was that? It runs on fuel, much like our shuttle. You see, the way we... It works similar to how this one... Is it? It's how Hilo works. So, it is what caused us to crash? You probably picked it up somewhere along the way and started consuming our fuel. Captain, please take this creature out of my engine room before... <laughs> okay, okay. And with that, Helios joined my party. That chat was so powerful about this. Perhaps they know where it's from so we can return it to its habitat. That sounds good to me. I'm going to finish refueling the shuttle. Alright. Look at my Pokemon, Helios. A new type of Pokemon that was found in the shuttle on the side of the shuttle engine. It consumes an incredible amount of energy. And if you. Oh no, wait, now that I look at it, it looks more like a black hole. Oh yeah, since we're not in... Okay, hold on. Let me go check something right now. Storage module and capacity module. Oh. Okay, I see what's going on. Since I think since I've already made the items that I need, I gotta wait. It's either they break and then I can't use them, or some, or I don't need to actually make them in the future. Hmm. Anyway, they found the Pokemon in the engine room. How is that possible? I hope it's cute. Can I see it? Sure. Can't wait to see it. Where is it? In your room? I'll go check it out. Uh, what's wrong? So, you know, the world like, came, came, came. I'm sorry about that. I mean, we should be professional about this. We should figure out where it's from and bring it back to its family. Perhaps you should ask Pavo about it. Alright. Pavo, you found one in the engine room? But how is that possible? I'm sure I didn't hit anything. At least we got enough fuel to get going again. Sonar should, said we should figure out where it's from, but how are we going to do that? I suppose we could try visiting the planets in the system. Slight problem with that, our communication module seems to be broken. Can't perform any long range scans. We should set a sort of a Glintera. Era. It's relatively close by and should have the required materials to build placement. Captain, you should go and collect materials on Glintera. Power can take us there. And Dr. this sketch. Alright. I suppose we should be able to go to the plants in the system and figure out where he lists us from. Just listening to her. Let me know when you're ready to move out. Hmm. Not gonna lie, 30 minutes in. 
And I... I'm, I literally am pressed for time because I need to get dressed soon. But, oh no, I have to admit, this is a really fun looking game. Part of me wants to just go back there and explore. But I know this is like the tutorial planet. We're most likely never going to be coming back here. Here, we just did this to like, get our bearings. Oh no, that is... Wait, gravity is 0 0.75. Oh man, this looks cool. So this is how we're traveling. All right. Oh. Oh, could that have explained why? Something why I was slower there? Oh my god. Oh shoot. Is this a game without any Pokemon battling? Oh man, I want to kind of go back and actually scan those other Pokemon then. So, not only is this a game where I can ex sort the open world and I have to collect materials in order to actually build a sh actually evolve and adapt. But, 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 from what I think I understand, this is basically me scanning and analyzing various Pokemon of various different worlds. Apologies. Oh, man, this, this is really cool. I, I really am going to say this is really cool. I'm definitely playing this game on my off time. I'm. Oh damn! I think this might have set up really high standard. Oh no! Oh no! That's not really all that good. If it set a high standard this early on, oh no! Maybe I shouldn't have played this game first. It looked like it had the coolest concept, so I wanted to. Play at first oh no oh ice cube wait wouldn't it be called silicue because we're selling silicate shards everywhere and it's most likely not a standardized ice ice helmet that it's wearing and what is oh my god is that a santa carbra no no i don't think it is i think it might be a different it might look like one, but I think it can't be a convergent evolution species. Oh my gosh, it is a Santa Claus. Honda. Oh, holy shit. Silicate crystals. So. The gravity seems to affect on how much faster we run. So, meaning when we were on the last planet, we were mostly going at, at a slower space because of the lighter, less amount of gravity on there. That was, oh man. But I, I'm gonna just end it here. If you guys want to want to play the rest of the game yourself, I mean, well, I'll just leave the link below to the below to the site where you can actually do download it yourself. Yeah, I'm just going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, please sure to like, subscribe, and hit the post notification for future uploads. Well, just, I mean, I'm going to be playing this game in my off time, and I'm just I'm just hunting for these items. But uh, without further ado, this is kind of one signing off. Uh, this game, uh, it gets an A. A, it gets an A. A I, I wish I could just, like, but, uh, yeah, it gets an A. Uh... To the people who worked on this, good job. Good job. Like, this is like a month's work worth of time. Like, holy shit, you guys really worked your asses off day and night.
But yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, bye.